I recently found out a big, a big, big, I mean, big brand that makes tools in the hardscaping landscaping industry. They're looking to eliminate all gas power tool versions of their lineup. They're going to convert them all into battery. I'm going to go on the record by saying that this is going to be the beginning of the end of this brand. The construction industry will never want battery powered tools as their primary tool. They will use them in a pinch, but they will never hold up to the full day of a real construction job site. So let's talk about some facts here. Number one, power and performance of a battery tool. It will never match the power and performance of a gas powered tool. I don't care what you say, especially when it comes to heavy duty tasks at hand and extended use of those tasks. Number two, limited run time. Batteries have a finite runtime before needing to be recharged. You're going to be constantly recharging shit, which can interrupt the work schedule, the workflow, the work. Productivity is going to drop because of it. The limitations may require additional investment into backup batteries, backup charging stations, basically a whole battery division. Tell me that's not creating a larger carbon footprint, you fuck nuts. Now charging. Let's talk about charging. So the charging infrastructure, transitioning to battery power tools may require upgrading all kinds of charging infrastructure on job sites and including access to power outlets or dedicated charging stations. This infrastructure, the investment alone adds to overall cost of adoption and adds to carbon footprint. Fuck nuts. And how are you powering these charging stations? Yeah, you're using a gas fucking generator to do it. Now, battery longevity and replacement of those batteries because we know we don't they don't last forever and they start trickling down over use degrade resulting in reduction runtime and performance additionally the cost of replacing the batteries can be significant especially for large scale tools fleets upfront costs are going to be significantly higher we've seen it with the fevs battery power tools they require a huge amount more of money than their gas counterparts while the long-term operation savings will outweigh the initial investments it can still pose a huge financial barrier because smaller contractors will not be able to achieve this let's talk about the environmental I don't know what those fucking benefits are. They still require energy to charge. So all you people talking about FEVs and talking about battery platforms, what's charging those things? Battery has a much larger carbon footprint than gas fuck nuts. Have the battery tools as an option, but never as a primary and the only way to build. You can't make it the only way to build. Watch these tools start to roll out in 2025 and watch how the construction industry turns on these brands as they go down this road. We already are seeing this with FEVs. People are not buying them. They're too expensive and they do not have the benefit that they're saying that they do have. Trades people will never change their gas tools to an entire battery platform. Have a great week, everybody.